السلام عليكم guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Eid Mubarak by the way, yeah. May Allah accept. Smile to Jannah. Yesterday, a day before Eid, 10 minutes after Salah, a 20 year old white Norwegian male went into a mosque armed with two shotguns, one pistol, and half a brain cell. As with the previous shooters, he posted his manifesto online hailing the previous shooters and of course cussing immigration. This waste of space is said to have murdered a relative before coming to the mosque. Maybe he was just practicing on them and then things just went wrong, but that doesn't explain why he would then come to the mosque. He supposedly mentioned in his manifesto, heaven awaits, which strongly suggests that he's Christian. I mean why on earth is this not being mentioned in the headlines? Christian and terrorist. Like I said guys it was so willed by Allah that this was supposed to happen a day before Eid, 10 minutes after Salah. Otherwise guys this could have been really bad. It was the day of Arafah after all I'm assuming Allah accepted a dua or many duas of people and kept this calamity away from us because think about it. If that happened yesterday how would our Eids have gone? Alhamdulillah no one died and the shooter was apprehended by a 75 year old uncle and I quote, he placed him in a chokehold and sat on top of him until the police arrived. Yo this guy sounds like the granddad of Habib Narmegomedov. I mean every brother knows you don't mess with the uncles from the front row. Forget the east and west coast beef, post cold wars, nah mate. If an uncle has saved his space and you try to take that place, it don't matter if you're armed with a gun, with a bazooka, he will lay you out. You know what guys, I managed to track down a picture of this uncle from my homies in Norway and let's have a look. Yo guys, Guys just looking at the uncle, by Allah he looks like one of those warriors from our history. <laughs> Honestly look at him. But guys, three takeaways from this. Number one, self-defense saves lives. If you are not doing it or you're not helping your family do it, guys you're gonna pay the price and so are the people around them as well. We're living in a time where self-defense is absolutely necessary. Guys I'll put a link in the description of my friend who is the student of the student of Bruce Lee. I'll learn a bit of self-defense from him as well. Definitely check him out, he does personal training, he does classes in South London or enroll with somebody that's local to you guys. It's very very important nowadays. Number two guys, dua repels hardships as we're told in the hadith. Here millions of people made dua in Arafah, in Hajj and I'm sure you guys were making duas yesterday at home as well and it just goes to show this could have been really bad but Alhamdulillah Allah accepted some people's duas. And number three the importance of showing people the beauty of Islam through action has become more important than ever. So guys apply it in your lives, live it and inshallah you will see things will become better but we have to start somewhere. All right guys have a lovely Eid and yeah just stay sober. What the hell is this? Until next time, Salamu alaikum.